So you probably clicked on this video to probably get the same type of advice, right? To be masculine. Get the money, get the muscles, get the hoes. But then you find out that you actually clicked on this video because you're not masculine yet. But you're listening to a lot of people that are supposedly this hyper masculine guy, yet they are not masculine. And they're not making you masculine. Because you keep clicking on this video to be more masculine. See what I'm getting at here? Because if you were truly to be ma masculine from those guys, right, you listen to those guys, and you were thinking you're gonna get the same advice from this video, you're not, first of all. And second of all, you're not masculine yet. So why are you even listening to those guys' advice? And I'm talking about the Andrew Tate, the Myron Gaines. Those are all supposed hyper-masculine guys, right? Uh, also, uh, there's one guy, Jeff, Jack Hopkins. He is also a hyper-masculine guy, right? And yeah, they're masculine. Yeah, definitely. But hyper-masculine? No. True masculinity? No. They say and look like they're from, like... The old age of masculinity, right? But they're not. This is, by the way, an uncensored video. So, you're gonna enjoy this one. Because if you truly want to be hyper-masculine, you're not gonna be out fucking hoes. You're not going out for the material success. You're not gonna let that change you. You change your emotions. Because most of those guys that you look up to don't even truly know what masculinity is. Yeah, they say it's masculinity. Yeah, go to the gym, get the money, then you're masculine. No, it's not. That's... Of course it can help, like, the gym, you should go, definitely. Going out for money, yeah, you should go. But, that doesn't make you hyper-masculine in instantly. Being hyper-masculine and an actual masculine man is being able to stay stoic, being able to stay still. These supposed masculine men you look up to, so I'm talking about the Andrew Tate, the Myron Gaines, I'm talking about the Jack Hopkins, they say they are hyper-masculine, right? Yet they say, I will be super reactive when a woman disrespects me. Because she will not, because then she's gone. You're being reactive, you're being emotional at that point. Is that masculinity? No. What masculinity actually is, and most male influencers will not tell you this. I got this from one male influencer, Hamsa. He's the only one that ever talked about this, by the way. And that's being still. Being able to be stoic. Being still, because quite frankly, you are not your feelings, you are not your emotions. You are not your body. You are your soul. And your soul feels those things, but it shouldn't be those things. That's what masculinity actually is. Being able to stay still, even though your girl might disrespect you. Even though the people around you might disrespect you or say something negative. You should be able to have that fun day. Let's say you go out and you wanted to have a happy day and you have a happy day. You set your mind on that. But someone says something negative and you instantly have a bad day. That's being more feminine. But when you are able to stay still, and I don't mean going like... But I mean being able to respond in a still way and still being happy. Or in terms of a girl, still being loving. That's what true masculinity truly is about. Masculinity isn't about hiding your emotions. It's about able, being able to deal with those emotions in a good and controlled manner. That's what true masculinity is. And now you might be thinking... Raphael, you're, you're super young. How, how should I listen to you? Why should I listen to you? And quite frankly, I understand you. And if you truly think that way, you might want to click away from this video. I didn't have a lot happen to me necessarily like bad things, but I have a lot of experience with this. Because I used to listen a lot to Andrew Tate, listen a lot to Myron Gaines. And they changed me, right? I let them change me. And that's, by the way, very feminine. We're getting into that later. But they ruined a lot for me, actually. Well, I did, myself. Because I listen to them too much. How they handle women is not healthy. In the slightest. Especially when you have a relationship. Don't do what they say. But also. They're like little, little monkeys. Jack Hopkins as well. There are all these male influencers that say. Yeah you can fuck a lot of women. They're monkeys. They say they are masculine right. And that they are disciplined. They're disciplined in all areas of life. Except that part. They will still listen to the dopamine receptor. And basically the same as jacking off at that point. For some stinky hole. What are you doing? That's not ma masculine right. Now that you think about it that way, that's not masculinity, right? If you think about it that way. What masculinity actually is, and why I'm literally putting out Hamza's matches, not because Hamza changed me, because I already knew deep down inside, that's what actually is supposed to be. And that's being still, being able to control. You have to control your soul, you have to be able to be still, to be calm. Because I can be very loud and very exciting, but if that changes you, if that gets you excited as well, then you're not masculine. This has a lot to do with how you are, how you behave. And of course, this takes time, right? And yes, you should still go to the gym. Yes, you should still strive to make money. If you truly want to be a masculine man, and truly want to attract the woman that you want to marry, that you want to have children with, you need to be able to be still. You need to be able to control. Because feminine energy, if you truly want a true feminine world, right? Like we all want that. 
changing a lot. Reactive to emotions. And women will test you to see if you actually love them. They will disrespect you slightly. They will feel, uh, they will act a little bit depressed if you're not in the present moment with them. And I know a lot of you guys will probably think, yeah, that has happened. But what did you do? You were reactive towards it. You were like, you're not disrespecting me. You're not doing that. What you should actually do, and this is what I had to learn the hard way, by the way. I fucked up, but I've learned a lot from it. And that's why I'm putting this out there for you. So you don't make the same mistake as me. What you actually should be doing is just keeping the same love. Same love level. Not more, not less. And you will see a change in your woman. And she will keep testing you. But if you pass those tests, she can actually love you more. Because... It sounds fucked up, right? But this is a fucked up way a woman does subconsciously shows her your love because she wants to see if you love her more. Starting to make sense, right? right? So you're probably thinking now. So I've listened to all these male influencers that are supposedly hyper masculine, right? Yeah, they're super successful. But they say we're course on making money. And they say the only thing that makes you masculine is money, right? A lot of bitches, right? And they sell courses on that. See what's see what's happening here. And of course I will sell you sell you something. Like I do one of one coaching right now. Of course I'm selling you something. I want to make money as well. That's why I'm here on YouTube. But I want to provide you with things. I want to show you that it's not all about money. Not all about material success. Of course I will strive for it. Of course I will get the material success. But to be able to enjoy that and be great for that. You have to be masculine about it. And you have to be in the spiritual world. So you also have to be really good. Hamza and Luke Belmar are really good at this. They're very spiritual people actually. And you can see in the way they talk. That they're hyper masculine and that they're actually old school masculine as we would call it you can learn a lot from those guys and you can probably learn a lot from me as well so one thing i want you to do is subscribe to this channel because this channel is going to make a change because i'm going to be my authentic self way more because i'm putting out that real stuff that changed my life and also will change your life of course you need to learn like masculinity is not about not learning and not being able to change right but it's about the emotion and about how you feel about your soul you need to be able to stay still and of course you can have fun it's not like you have to be like this all the time but it's like you need to be able to control because if you control you're more masculine you need to be aware of what you do and if you're aware of how you feel and what you actually respond to how you feel that way you will be hyper masculine and you will attract the good woman, not the dumb woman that I put on the podcast. Like these red pillars and I really, really am starting to literally dislike them a lot. I don't hate a lot of people, but I dislike them a lot because these red pillars put a lot of dumb ass women on there that say, yeah, it's all about the money. It's all about the muscle because they're stinky holes. They're dumb because a true woman. And this sounds fucking cheesy, right? But a true woman goes for personality over everything. If you can be truly present with a woman. A truly, truly lover, you could be a skinny, broke guy. Now, of course, for the first interactions with a woman, the muscle will help, the money will help. But if you want a true, good woman, where you want to have your children with, you need to be able to be masculine in a still way and actually be able to provide her, not only with all the material things, but also with the spiritual, spiritual things. You need to be able to provide. That's what these supposed hyper masculine men forget. Especially especially the red pill and the blue pillars are good at this. Also a guy that's really masculine. And actually I, I heard him say something against My Myron Gaines. That guy coached Myron Gaines to make a business right. So they're kind of good. But he, Brandon Carter is his name. He literally told Myron I don't want that. I don't want to fuck a lot of hoes when I'm in a relationship. Because I want to be with her. Because I know I'm going to hurt her even though I'm going to fuck a lot of girls. That's true masculinity right there. That old school. See what I'm getting at. See what I'm trying to teach you. And of course. Like when you're single. I don't care what you do. You can go for the stink. Oh fuck up your dopamine receptors. But when you're with a good woman. Don't ruin her. Because that's going to haunt you for the rest of your life. Because you're ruining your dopamine receptors. Yeah. Those hyper masculine men. Are just dirty monkeys. That have pain when they pee. It burns. And you want to be like that? Of course not. You keep clicking on these type of videos because no one has ever taught you this way of being masculine. Masculinity has not worked out for you because you think it's all about the material success. Masculinity is about the spiritual success. And that way you will get the material success. All right. So again, please subscribe to my channel because it's going to be a win-win for both of us. Do the hard work. Be proud of yourself every day. And I will see you later.